very basic level, what is an evacuation sign and, and what do they look like and what's the purpose of them? Look, they've been around for, for a long time. <clears throat> uh, the, the standard uh, I first use, I'll, I'll just quickly show you, um, was still 3745, um, but uh, it only referred to evacuation uh, and location. And it only really had a couple of very generic -y type um, um, uh, what they're supposed to be used for thing and, and examples of them. So what I was told at the time, going back then, that particular standard was um, uh, 2002. Obviously, there's the updated 2010 uh, one now, but it, I, this, without a word of a lie, this is what I was told they were for, is that in an emergency, uh, you're going to go to the sign uh, and it's going to show you the way out. Um, but, you know, as we all know now, is that uh, it's extraordinarily unlikely uh, when you're um, under stress uh, that you're going to be able to have the cognitive ability to be able to um, remember that type of thing, um, you know, um, and, and, and uh, even being affected by uh, potential risk or smoke, um, you know, people are going to be disorientated. So uh, the, it changed over time uh, what, they, what they were for. Now uh, they're, they're looked on as, I think, pretty well universally as a teaching pool, teaching tool and reference point uh, for um, where your first response equipment is, your path of egress out, uh, your muster points and the way of evacuating people out of the, out of the structure. Okay, so Bruce, the, the, that same legislation applies to evacuation signs as well, is it? So 3745, is it? Yeah, it, well, it's... Um, there's there's a responsibility in, in the in the act. Um, so remember that the act is and regulation as far as workplace health and safety goes is the same all the way around Australia, uh, except for Victoria. But uh, um, for these purposes, uh, it still applies. Um, and uh, in Queensland, it has the um, uh, the building fire safety regulation that is specific. Uh, and what the requirements are uh, and then uh, for the rest of Australia uh, there's the Australian standard 3745 planning for emergencies and facilities um, and it, it's also specific in that uh, the newer standard I said you the 2002 one but in the 2010 it tells you uh, what the expectations are now in, remember I said that the um, uh, that the in the code of practice, uh, so that applies to all of Australia, Sec Victoria, is uh, it's referred to as a guideline. Um, so that means the fish and chip shop, you can apply 3745 uh, differently uh, to um, um, uh, Queensland, for instance. Queensland has a legislation, building fire safety regulation. That's the law. Uh, so you have to do the law. Um, and uh, the uh, code of practice for facilities where 3745 is quite specific in um, mentioning the word uh, guidance can be gained. Um, so pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you can use the uh, Australian standard for guidance. I see. So we've got, we've got the, we, so we've got law, which is legislation. Is that correct, Bruce? That's right. Yeah. You, you've got to do the, the law. So, um, you know, the, the, the Act, for instance, mentions the, um, uh, the officer of a PCBU has to have a safe workplace or a PCBU has to have a safe workplace. And um, um, from that, um, you know, how do you do that? So you go to the regulation and the regulation targets, you know, the, you know how we manage risk and all those sorts of bits and pieces. And if it's more complex, like first aid or asbestos removal or, um, there's a whole bunch of those, one of those being facilities. Um, so you have to do the code of practice, so what it says, or better. Um, so the legislation's a law, that's the thing you have to do. And I mentioned in the last um, uh, podcast is that that's where you can get your fines, you know, so um, that come out of that. 
Um, generally, that tends to happen only if there's a serious injury or death. Uh, there can be uh, occasions where um, employees uh, with concerns anonymously report a company, um, and then that will then kick off uh, the regulators' attendance to, to you know, and they would do. Uh, uh, their own inspection and and you can get uh, on the spot fines and um, and you know uh, and other directions or notices that will come out of that uh, um, expectation of the the, the company towing the line. I see, and that would be because the the law and the legislation wasn't wasn't abided by. But so there's also so we've got legislation, but we've also got the regulation and act, but that. Is that more like a guideline? Is that correct, or no? No, no the uh, the act and regulation are, uh, are the, uh, the law. All, all laws tend to have a, an act um, and a regulation, so you can get um, uh, there's the um, you know electrical safety act. Um, so that's because the reason it has its own act is because. Um, uh, it, there's a lot of risks associated, so it breaks away and has its own thing. Um, some things don't have an act, like uh, the Building Fire Safety Regulation uh, has a, uh, is under the um, uh, the Queensland, um, uh, I forget the exact title of it, but the you know Fire Act, for one of the better words. Um, I can find out what it is because I don't deal with it all the time. It's not on the top of my head, but that's, that's one okay. where there's a completely different uh, Terminology. It's it's not. It's it's it doesn't say building for, building fire safety act, for instance, but it's associated. So uh, yeah, law's the law. Um, it's like the um, criminal code, you know, is is law. Um, you know, and there's a, a, and various other act like um, um, the um, Re uh, uh, rehabilitation act or some. Uh, I forget it's for return to work and rehabilitation. I forget the. Uh, Actual there, HAB Act. Excuse me, everybody. And, and why? Why? It's the Workers' Compensation and, Re and Rehabilitation Act. So, okay. off workplace health and safety, if you get injured, because it's so complex, there's other legislation that takes over. But you're right in, in what you're saying. You know that the, the Act and regulation is there, but then there's codes of practice, um, and that's where it becomes more complex. So you've got, to, you've got to have more information. But the Act regulation and code of practice have to be followed, yeah. Okay. Is there something, what we'll do is we'll include these, uh, at least for 3745, we include the link to the actual Act in the in the description of the video. But is there, so there's the, is that the main one that business owners should be aware of? Is that the... Yeah, so safety is the, uh, for want of better words, the big kahuna. That, that's that's the go-to. Everything else is subordinate in my my uh, impression of it. So, I mean, um, uh, you know, to do with safety. Um, so you've got the, uh, the Work Health Safety Act regulation uh, code of practice, but then you've got ones where we're, we're jumping over and they're associated the building fire safety regulation, uh, and then you got other support documents like uh, the the Australian standards. So in this case, uh, the um, Australian standard thirty seven forty five. I think it's um, where are we? Let me have a quick look. Um, yeah, AS thirty seven forty five. I was just trying to see. Uh, my, mine's uh, it was when two thousand and ten with amendments come out. I got it. Um, but generally, they're, they're, they're AS and NZ, Australia and New Zealand. Um, so, um, uh, so, so that, like, we can we can put the links to the Act regulation and code of practice, but the Australian standard we can't. Okay, so the only way with the Australian standard, you want to get a copy, you've got to purchase it, um, and uh, and I can't. Um, uh, their copyright is extraordinarily tough. So I, I can't print it out and give you a copy. I can't give you a digital copy. In fact, it's uh, this one here. You can see uh, if you can see here is that it's 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 you can see I bought it on the twelfth of June two thousand and fourteen. So um, um, the Australian so the, standard. Oh, sorry, go. The, sorry, Chris. Does that mean the guidelines for 
evacuation signs is is hard to access for for the average business owner or for for regulation in queensland um no uh, it, it's in it's in the um uh, the building fire safety regulation that's law you've got to follow it now that question would be relevant for the rest of australia because uh, and as far as i'm aware uh is that uh is 3745 is only mentioned in the code of practice for facilities so that's everywhere else bar victoria um, and it's still victoria 3745 would be the go-to so if if you want to comply you're even going to have to consult which is an obligation under the legislation um, so you've got to uh, uh, employ someone uh, to do that for you we've got to employ someone to install extinguishers at the right place and put a sign up that's right um, so uh, not all people that employ install extinguishers and check them offer that service um, and along with the evacuation sign uh, there's the written plan thank you for watching this short video is part of a longer podcast that can be found on the safety art youtube channel as well as apple podcasts and spotify if you found this information helpful, then please like, share, and subscribe to see more videos like this one. Also, if you have any Australian and New Zealand workplace and fire safety related questions that you'd like Bruce to answer on the podcast, then feel free to leave a comment below and we'll answer it in the next week's podcast. For more in-depth information and inquiries, you can also schedule a free call with Bruce directly by visiting safetyhut.com.au.